Oh, hi everyone. In the previous video that you saw recently, we pre-flighted a microlight to see what we need to do before we go flying. But there was another part to this video you haven't yet seen, and this is what comes next. When you pre-flight a microlight, one of the mandatory things you have to do is check the fuel in the tank isn't contaminated with water. And in this video, we're going to see how we do that. But have you ever wondered how quickly water will settle in fuel? We do a few experiments to find out. Watch this. You can see the water in the bottom. There it is. Nothing in the fuel at the top, only at the bottom. This is a fuel cup and it's got the spigot. For this one, we use this one for our fuel drain in this and all we do is simply push that up. A fuel drain? What? A f what's a fuel drain, Pete? Come on, you better explain that bit better, hey? Okay, so you can see there's no golden beads in the bottom and the golden beads would indicate water in the fuel. Because my filtration system's really good, I don't have to worry about this, it's not there. But if you do use a mister funnel, you won't get uh, water in your fuel. This is 400 litre tanker. Now, the filtration system on this is the same as an Avgas tanker that you might see in a common airfield. Uh, my fueling system is grossly different to what you likely have. You'll be operating out of jerry cans. No water gets through into my aircraft. But I still do a fuel drain. Rightio, what we're going to do here, we have fuel in a jar, I have water in here. A lot of people seem to think that when you, when you get water in your fuel, that it will hang around in the fuel for a while. It will go straight to the bottom, that's the golden beads that you'll find. So we'll do a little experiment here and you'll be able to see how this works. Hold on. Alright, you ready? This is the important part. Watch this carefully. Peter, how can you prove that's really water? Cold water. Okay. I'll have to believe you. Okay, let's set this up. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. And... Yeah. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Straight to the bottom. Doesn't take any time, does it, Peter? No. Nope. It just does it. Instantly goes to the bottom. Now, what was the reference you had before? We'll just talk about that. Um, if you've got like a wing on a Cessna or something that's, you know, okay. maybe got condensation built up in it. With a fixed wing aircraft, especially a high wing aircraft, condensation can build up in the tanks. Now, if the filtration system on the pump is not correct, the water or moisture in there will settle in the tank. But what will happen is it will settle into the areas where the tank is like so. So before doing anything with a Cessna or a Piper, shake the wing before doing your fuel drain. That will move all of that moisture or water straight down to where the lowest drain point is. And that's where you, your drain for your fuel is, uh, is done. You can see the water in the bottom. There it is. Nothing in the fuel at the top, only at the bottom. The most important thing when you're getting rid of fuel, I won't be putting this back in the aircraft. But if you look down here on the ground, you'll see this area here was where someone spilt fuel. It destroys the bitumen. Not a good idea. If you're going to get rid of your fuel, the best way to do it, tip it on weeds or aerate it. I'll show you how that happens. Ready? So, and you can see the mist hits the gravel and it doesn't show up. Therefore, you've aerated the fuel properly and it won't damage the bitumen. And that's how to do it. All right, thanks Peter for today. Uh, that's been very informative. I hope that everyone watching this video has got something out of it or will be able to do their pre-flights better and understand why it's important to do their pre-flight. Have you got anything Absolutely. else you might want to add before we close this video? Fly safe. Fly safe. 
there's nothing else to know it's that easy everyone can do this anyway catch you next time thanks for watching bye for now thanks for watching this video if you haven't already or you are new to the channel like the video and hit the subscribe button to stay connected for future crayon box flying adventures